हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट वीडियो सो आई होप यू हैव कवर्ड ऑल द इम्पॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट रिगार्डिंग द प्रोग्रामिंग दैट इज लाइक फंक्शनैलिटीज वॉट इज द फंक्शन वॉट इज द डेटा टाइप एंड हाउ टू राइट द कंडीशन एंड लूप्स एंड ऑल द स्टफ सो राइट नाउ वी आर मूविंग टूवर्ड्स द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट Uh, that is nothing but the object oriented programming okay so i would definitely recommend to pay the maximum attention uh, towards the next chapters because uh, object oriented programming is the most important uh, concept that like used in every industry uh, and for becoming a successful developer you have to master the object oriented programming okay so we will start from the basics don't worry uh, so yeah like before jumping into the object oriented programming Uh, we are starting uh, to create our game story of this uh, of this game like that we are building right so for the game story i will definitely using a function okay void uh, game story so i am just writing down the function and i will call this function from the main uh you can write any story i'm just writing some sample uh, story there was a warrior okay so actually i have a story uh i will like uh, actually i will reuse that story uh, those are nothing but the see out statements so so yeah, like you can write your own story you can customize the output as per you want but i have already written down the story i'm just uh, using that only so these are nothing but the see out statements you can make use of your own story as well just quickly run our program and see how it looks mm. come on why it is taking so long yeah so here like uh, you can see the output is there like bleth over true warrior and you can read this story uh, you can re uh, you can create your own story or you can use this story as well like as per your choice so i guess our game story is done like i just created a function and i just wrote some lines there uh, see out lines and i just call that function from the main that is what i have done till now now we are jumping into the object oriented programming we will start with the classes okay so classes are the key aspect of the object oriented programming i will definitely explain what is classes in by using simple uh, simple pick like this okay so here you can see uh, there are like different types of classes in our game if you observe uh, uh, any game will have a player any game will have a enemy and any player will have a npc right so there can be multiple multiple classes in a game so what is a class we need to understand that class is nothing but the blueprint of uh, what we want to implement as simple as that okay don't over complicate this concept uh, actually in programming terms class is nothing but the user defined data type class is nothing but the holder of a data so what is data uh, that might be player health that might be player damage that might be player weapons so these are nothing but the data right uh, these uh, and we all are holding this data into the player class so actually class is nothing but the user defined data type but in simple in simple words just consider class as a blueprint that you want to implement okay uh, that can be anything that can be player that can be enemy that can be npc so inside class definitely you might be needing bunch of variables bunch of functionalities to fulfill the functionality of the player or enemy or npc we will take a look at them later but first of all just understand that class is nothing but the blueprint about our implementation okay depending upon the implementation you can create different classes okay as simple as that end of the story uh, now i'm i'm moving towards the objects concept okay so this is a very interesting concept okay so here you can see uh, i'm just opening the draw mode on so consider that we have a class of enemy and here you can see e1 to e7 are objects of the enemy classes uh, so what are the objects so i would say uh, i have written some code for the enemy to work okay so i have declared some health i have declared some behavior for that enemy okay like this enemy should be patrolling from one place to another place one place to another place that might be anything so all logic is written inside this class so what i want is so obviously like you have played if you have played any games you might have seen exact same amount of enemies are replicated in the level okay so 
they look exactly same they they behave exactly same right so these are nothing but the objects of the same enemy class so this is the best example to understand the object uh, take example of a mario game inside that mario game like there is a turtle enemy right which has the exact same behavior that turtle enemy you might find in level 5 as well as in level 1 as well uh, that turtle enemy will act exact same when you are jumping onto it uh, that turtle enemy will behave exact in the same manner uh, like uh, as a level 1 and versus as a level 5 that what it means that simply means is that enemy is exactly same replicated in multiple times throughout the level or in the next levels okay so basically objects are nothing but the copies of the class okay so if i am creating the object of class here you can see e1 is a object of a class so what this object will do actually this object will hold all the properties that we have written inside the class we might have written like health we might have written some functionalities all will get transferred into the object and actually you can perform some operations you can retrieve and process the data that you have written in the enemy class don't worry i am not jumping into the code and as of now like once i i started coding the things will become more clear and clearer uh, but right now let's just focus on like there is a class and there can be multiple objects of a class the main use of the object is you don't need to rewrite the code again and again you simply need to create the objects of the same class to replicate the behavior as simple as that this is nothing but the object of the enemy so this is a class and here like consider this enemy as a turtle enemy okay this is nothing but the object of that class so as you are replicating this in multiple levels every every turtle enemy will exactly behave in the same manner but again your efforts of rewriting code is getting reduced so this is nothing but the power of object oriented programming you just have to write the code once and by creating multiple objects uh, you can use the same behavior throughout the games okay so this is how games are made so i am just jumping back to the code so what we will do we will create a class okay so you will understand how to create a class as well so i am just creating a class of player so here is a syntax class class name so i am creating a class of a player that's why i am naming it as a player opening and closing and in C++, you have to end a class with semicolon as well, okay? In C Sharp and Java, you don't need to do, do that. But uh, this is nothing but the semicolon that you have to end every class with. Okay, so as simple as that, uh, this is how you can create class. So you just have to write class, then the name of the class, opening and closing curly brackets and ending with the semicolon. So this is nothing but the block. Uh, in which you can write multiple variables, multiple functionalities to the player and this is how it should work. Okay, how to create an object of a class, we will take a look at it. So till now, like you can simply follow like here is a simple function of a game story and I have just created a class of a player. Okay, so you can write some public. So this is nothing but the access modifier. Don't worry about it as of now. I will create, uh, I will create a separate chapter focusing on these two public and private data types uh, sorry access modifiers so i'm just giving the example uh, of a data member okay what is a data member int health obviously our player will have a health right so you have already studied what is a variable so inside player i am declaring the health so what it means inside the class of a player i am writing the health that means this health is associated to the class of the player and this health is also called as data member okay also like suppose you want to write any functionality you can write something attack obviously our player will attack so i am writing a functionality what is functionality functionality is nothing but a function i am writing the empty function now this is also called as member function member function or here you can also call data member or, or like member variable as well. Both names are fine. Okay, member variable and member function. So this is an example of a member variable and this is an example of a member function. Why, why it is called as member function? Who is a member here? Member is nothing but a class. This class belongs to the player. Okay, 
inside player i am creating a functionality of attack that means attack is a member function of a player class this is a member variable of a player class you can have tons of different variables you can have tons of different functions inside a class this is how you can define the schema you can define the blueprint of your player suppose you want to give the ability uh, of double jump to your player okay so you will write here pub, uh, void double jump as simple as that and you will obviously you have to write a code uh, but this is how different functionalities you can write inside a class and those functionalities uh, will get used by a player and by by calling these functions your player will perform as per your functionality so this is a basic basically this is a pure snapshot of a class okay inside class you can have multiple functions inside class you can have multiple variables like int uh, i can say damage damage is equal to 10 means like our player can deliver 10 damage or something uh, it can be anything like imagination is the limit right in the games so this is how you can create a class uh, and i guess we are good to go for creating a constructor okay constructor concept is very very important you need to understand what is a constructor there are a set of rules here so i am just clearing this these things out because these are nothing but the placeholders that i used so first of all there are few rules that you need to understand of a constructor okay uh, i hope you are making notes of these concepts that's why i am just writing uh, writing it for you in front of screen so constructor it is a special function inside a class and there are some set of rules uh, that this constructor has to follow to fulfill the fulfill the ability of the constructor as simple as that okay so it should be public so i am just writing public and uh, this is a this is a syntax that you can use to create a public uh, variables or functions okay public and colon okay not semicolon it is a colon okay public so i'm i have i have just written public so whatever you write below this public all will become as a public so what do i mean by that suppose i am writing int health so int health will become public int damage will become public so what you don't need to write public 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 again and again in the c plus plus you just only have to declare it once and whatever you write below this line that is line number 34 all will be considered as a public uh, but yeah i'm just erasing these variables so i'm just creating the function with the exact same name as a class name so what is our class name our class name is player and as it is a function obviously it will come with the opening and closing brackets and this is how you can create a constructor it should not have a return type you should not write void or something this will not considered as a constructor so if you want to create a constructor you have to write only this public the name of the class opening and closing normal brackets and then opening and closing curly brackets that should be it okay so what is a constructor why to use a constructor For what is the special about this constructor we will look at it so to test it to test out our constructor i am just simply writing uh, constructor of player class okay i am just writing a c out statement i am constructor of a player class so simple right so i am just writing a c out statement inside a constructor now you will understand what is so special about this constructor i guess we are done with the classes we are done with creating player class we are done with creating constructor as well now it's time to create the player class object we discuss what is the object what is the use case of the object here so to replicate the functionality of a same class usually we create objects and to process a data to call any functionality of a class we have to uh, we have to create an object of it okay otherwise you cannot call any functionality uh, but yeah like i will now show you how to create a object of a class so this is the syntax this is also simple syntax you just need to write class name that is player and then uh, this is simply as a variable okay consider this as a data type and right now you are naming your variable so i am naming it as a player object obj as simple as that your player object is created guys okay so uh, i have created a player object i have created a constructor 
let's quickly look out uh, what will be the output of this program okay so i'm just commenting out the game story to avoid the confusion right now so let's run yeah bingo so here you can see i am a constructor of a player class so what you have observed here is so if you if you if you neatly observed this is a public function okay i am not calling this function i am not doing anything in the main i am just creating a object okay i am just creating a player's object yes or no so i am just creating a player's object but as soon as i am creating a object this function is getting called how so that is some that is the speciality of the constructor that is why we use constructor as a initial function okay whenever you create object <coughs> sorry whenever you create object of any class the constructor will get called that is the special ability of the constructor is uh, you might be having tons of functions like attack okay i am writing the c outline here and i am just changing the message i am a attack function okay i will rewrite uh, rerun this code so suppose here you can see here is a constructor and below that i have written a functionality of a attack so i am just running a function sorry i am just running a code and here you can see only this line is getting printed that means only constructor is getting called when the object is created no other functionality will get triggered no other functionality will get called so that is the speciality of the constructor that we need to understand so if you think logically what can be the use case of the constructor uh, just just think for a while otherwise i will like just pause the video i just think for a while where we can use the concept of a constructor okay just pause the video i will uh, then reveal the answer hey hi uh, i hope uh, you have thought you have given a thought a bit so best example of a use case of a constructor is whenever player is getting spawned then we might have to initialize health we might have to give some weapons we might have to add some stamina or it can be anything right so what is a constructor like whenever object is getting created at that time the functionality is getting called so we can use of this special ability we can take a use of this special ability and we can initialize all the important parameters all the important variables of our player of our enemy uh, at the time of creating the object itself so we don't need to worry about okay uh, if the if i'm creating a player object when i should set the health when i should set the weapons when i should set the stamina and all the stuff you just have to write all these things inside the constructor and all these things will get called immediately after the creation of the object of the player so that is the that is the use case of the constructor that i can think of definitely let me know if you if you have different uh, different use cases of the constructor so i guess we covered classes we covered we covered objects what is the use of object we also covered uh, the constructor and uh, what is a member function what is a what is a member variable so it is nothing but the variables inside a class okay uh, these are called as member variables and member functions nothing else and we have created a beautiful game story feel free to write your own game story and yeah i will i am seeing you in the next chapter thanks a lot